But when you look at what's happening inside Israel, I mean, there's a resurrection of like the biblical Jew, like Yehoshua and Gidon and King David and his men. And in Israel, it's like the Maccabees are coming back to life. And I'm wondering maybe if we're dealing with the spiritual dimensions of war and what it means to wield this power, maybe this is a part of the process of becoming the people of Israel that we were meant to be. That how could we really speak with such faith if we're kind of living in Brooklyn? How can we talk about God with such confidence? Maybe only when we're strong enough to defend ourselves and bring Jewish power to light, um, maybe then we can say it. And if that's true, that this could really only be said in Israel by the people of Israel, backed with tanks and guns and strength, then maybe this should be like a new call to young Jewish men to work out, to train, to join the IDF, to become warriors, not just in service of the state of Israel, but to become Jewish warriors in service of Hashem, in their tikkun midot, in growing into becoming who they really are, like bringing out their true Jewish identity. What do you think of that? I hope that that's not where we're headed. More militant, more fighting, more violence, more... No. I think the real battle is an ideological battle. The question is not who has bigger bombs. The question is who's right. What's the truth? And the truth is so absent. Nobody is interested in what is true. Nobody. It's not that there are lies. There have always been lies. But truth also existed. Today, the truth is not even respected. So what if you're telling the truth? I can tell a better lie. And you're admired for it. So really, the showdown that comes before Moshiach is not a military one. It's an ideological one. Once and for all, what's the truth? Why are we here? Why are Jews? Why a Torah? Why an Israel? Why? The fact that we can beat up our enemy doesn't prove anything to them because they still think they're right. So when they beat us up, they are right. When we beat them up, we are wrong. So you can't win like this. The real issue is, does anyone still respect the truth? What is the truth? The truth is, God gave the land of Israel to the people of Israel. That's it. We are the people of Israel. That's it. If we're not convinced of that, if we still feel like we have to argue, you know, the, 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 the United Nations, the partition plan, we were there all along, we never stopped praying for Yerushalayim, will you stop justifying yourself? You sound uncertain. You sound like there's room for debate. There's no room for debate. If anybody's interested in the truth, 